What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. If this is the first Mr. Ferguson video you've ever clicked on, I highly, highly encourage you to go back to the previous video before this one. We did our most recent 2021 throwdown, the big day, air rating, overseeding. We had some challenges that we'll get to here in a second because what I wanna do in this video is kinda of do a cleanup video here. Some of the questions, some of the things I'm seeing in the comments section, give you an update on uh, the issues we had, but highly encourage you to go check out the last video. It is about 35 minutes. I threw in just as much of what we did that day uh, in that video. So expect that year after year when we do overseeding and, and things of that nature here, it's gonna be a longer video. Not gonna be long today, gonna be very quick and short. As you can see, we've got um, the, the watering still going on. I'm currently filming this on Friday, the day that the big throwdown video has released to you guys on YouTube here. And so uh, I'm continuing to water. We do have germination, surprisingly. So we threw down on a Tuesday. Uh, we, we put our first sprinkler out here, as you saw in the previous video. If you didn't, go check it out. Stop this video, go check it out. It's worth it but we threw down water for the first time on Wednesday. Today's Friday and we actually have germination. So here it is right here in my front yard, right where the sidewalk is. This is the only area I've really seen germination yet. And I think it's primarily because when I water, sometimes the water will flow down my sidewalk and rest right there in that area that you're looking at. So I think that has a lot to do with it because it stayed super moist there. Um, however, I've not really done a deep look into other areas, but it looks like that may be the only area, but hey, it is germination. So we do have germination in two and a half, three days. So that's pretty incredible. That is the GCI turf type tall fescue seed, by the way. So I declare it the winner. So we're gonna continue to water here. So we'll continue to do germination updates um, probably next Friday. You know, we should actually have some grass to show you here. So I'll keep you informed. You know, we've got areas like this that I'm anxious to see how long it takes this. You know, this is the area where that, if you watch the previous video, where we had an underground drain that got ripped out by the aerator. So we've seeded this and all that. So anyways, with all that said, I want to just clean up a couple things from the previous video. Number one, I want to uh, show you the germination. So we've accomplished that. And now I wanna talk about the second things uh, from the comment section. Number one, there's a lot of people that thought I was mad. and was like, hey, Mr. Ferguson, hang in there. It'll be okay. And I appreciate that, I do, but I'm not mad. Um, <laughs> I was definitely mad um, about the, um, the, uh, the, the sprayer and what happened because, you know, the one day that you need something, it's like, Lord help me, you know, um, ha going with a liquid fertilizer, you got to have a, uh, um, as somebody mentioned, they always have a backup sprayer. I think that is crucial if you're going to go with liquid products as far as depending on it in a way that I did on that day. Um, I had green pop. I've held on to that green pop for uh, several months. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to go spend a lot of money on the yard mastery um, or, or anything. I'm just going to use green pop. I used it last year. It worked out. So I'm going to use it this year. Well, if you saw the last video, once again, you know, uh, the sprayer went down on me, highly upset, held me up like, oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. And so eventually we did get my old backup sprayer from my dad and we got it laid down at like eight something at night. I was out here spraying, have no idea if I got it evenly covered or not, but it was my RGS, my Tenacity, my Green Pop, and uh, my Hydrotain. So it did get laid down. So what I wanna say as a cleanup to that situation, number one, I'm not mad, I was upset at the time, but hey, we got it done and uh, it is what it is. And now we're on the watering. So just because Mr. Ferguson, myself gets upset, please don't take that as I quit, I hate lawn care forever. I get upset in the moment. I have to motivate myself, okay, it's gonna be okay and push on. So uh, just know that, I just wanted to, as an admin note. More, more importantly, I did contact, as I mentioned in the last video, Jordan over at Strom. And not only has Strom and GCI been super duper awesome, but they have said, Mr. Ferguson, we're, I, don't know, I don't know what's happening with the unit that you have, but uh, we're just gonna sh ship you a brand new unit out in the mail this week. I just need your address. And you're talking about a thank you, Jesus, praise God. Um, I don't have, I'll be upfront and honest with you guys. I don't have the money to be able to buy a whole nother sprayer. So big shout out and thank you to Strom and Jordan over at Strom, as well as GCI for just working with me as the middleman, because uh, that's who I purchased it through. Um, I'd made some comments. I'm just disgusted at Strom and all that. And at the time, I'm not going to take that back. I was because I feel like uh, 
it let me down in the most important time that I needed it. So, but I did want to come on here and I told them I would do this. And that's to say Strom's customer support, uh, two times that I've needed them, they've come through and uh, they're sending me a whole new unit because I've had issues with the one that obviously we, we featured here last video. So hopefully this one is a better built, better put together. Maybe the battery will be better on this one. I hope so. But I did want to mention that about Strom and how they have come through. Uh, they are excellent in their customer support. And so hopefully we'll have a, a new backpack sprayer here very soon. They'll be able to put to use and uh, let you know how that goes. So now I get to turn the camera away from my ugly face. And uh, so here's an area, you know, this area at this time of year doesn't get a lot of uh, sunshine here. Um, that's why I had Miss Ferguson. She sprinkled some of that dense shade mix in this area because at this point of the position of the earth and where we are, it don't get a lot of sun here. However, in spring and summer, it does get sunshine here. So we'll see how long that seed lasts. But what I wanted to show you guys is the seed covering i made a you know i said i'm so impressed with this and these things have not expanded as big as i thought they would i thought they would expand so much larger um but they really haven't and so i thought i was poor you know i was being very careful not to pour this stuff on too thick and cover it up from the water in the sun and i didn't put enough down and i put it heavy and this is one of the heavy areas just like on my bank so i just wanted to update you on that that you do it when it says 750 square foot coverage you do have to put it down kind of heavy now this is what alan hayne had shown on his video you know an area like this and so when i had peat moss and and stuff i didn't want to go crazy so i just wanted to make mention of that this is what it looks like when these items are actually wet and setting on the ground i wish i had some of the other ones to uh, compare you from from small to large but it's it looks like almost like the the butt of a cigarette or the ash of a cigarette that's exactly what it looks like um, but it, it doesn't expand as big as i thought they would so know that if you buy the greenview seed covering product don't let that fool you it's not going to expand as big as you think they will also, another very often commented thing on the last video was, Mr. Ferguson, you're out there shoveling in a uh, wheelbarrow. Why don't you just get a compost spreader? And I forgot to mention that in the last video, so that's my fault. And I understand why you guys would recommend that because that makes a lot of sense. But I called every area, every Home Depot, Lowe's, looked online, called my buddies that are, you know, good old redneck guys that know people I don't know. I called everybody in the world to try to find a compost spreader. The only one I was able to find was 45 minutes down deep into Raleigh. I'm not going to drive all the way down there for that. Then have to turn around and take it back and rent it for two days or something because it's such a long drive in traffic. Not worth it. I would rather get out here and hand throw that stuff out than go all the way down there to rent a compost spreader. So I did try. Trust me. Trust me. I tried. Um, I even tried to talk Miss Ferguson into let me buy the one on Amazon for $300 and then rent that bad boy out to other people in the future, which I still may do, but just couldn't justify putting $300 down on that really nice one on Amazon to use once time a year, you know? So, uh, definitely next year. Um, I know a guy, Mr. Ronnie, he, uh, helped us out with the t-shirts. He helped us out fixing the spreader. He may be able to even build one of those things. I need to talk to him, but we may just purchase the one off Amazon eventually throw in with Mr. Kevin. If we're going to use it every year, we may go half and half and store it. Understand you guys making that comment, but just know Mr. Ferguson tried so hard to get one. So I didn't have to hand deliver that uh, peat moss, but uh, maybe next year we'll get lucky and find one. So that'll pretty much, we're going to end the video there. I know it's shorter. I know it's not uh, very educational, entertaining. Man, I've worked like a dog the past couple of days. Um, not complaining about the work. I enjoy the work. I'm just tired. There's not a lot to report at this time. Besides, I'm running water. I'm giving the city, you know, a whole lot of money for the water that they provide for me. So hate that part. But um, I will continue. Obviously, the next few videos, we're going to be updating you on what the grass is looking like, what the yard is looking like. So it's still way too early to be able to show you any Anything besides our first little baby germination in the front yard so thank you guys for stopping by share the last video share the big day video if you would it would definitely help me out again if you are interested in the products I've used and not done your yard yet and this has inspired you to do it you still got time uh, I would encourage it go back to the last video check the links out those links help out me and the family continue to let me know in the comment section how y'all's lawn is coming along where you're at is it going well I know Pete had some struggles um, so far so good in my lawn I, it is a little bumpy because of that zero turn aerator but we'll see how things turn out so let me know in the comments how your lawn is coming out hope you guys have a 
fantastic week. We'll keep you updated on germination and we'll see you on the next video.